do you have a sprinter van or maybe a smaller cargo van and you want to install a ladder inside i'm going to show you step by step how you can do this so in this case i'm going to show you how i can take it out so how can i take, uh, put it in so that way you know if you like these type of things so basically you have this uh, basically you have this uh, ladder here and then you push it out with this kit take it out it and then uh, that's it so that is how you can have it inside because most people they are going to have it you know laying uh, around inside is going to be a disaster and because you have this hole here i'm going to show you how you can install this kit that is is very good so i'm going to show you a step by step also it comes in a small box uh, like this i can, I can try to leave the in the video description the box if you want to buy it yourself this kit Otherwise, if you are outside the United States, you want to send you the kit, just let me know. All my information is in the video description. So now I'm going to show you how I can hook it up inside. As you can see, that is the hook, the yellow thing that you see over there. That we're going to hook up the ladder over there and then we're going to hook it up uh, over here. So I'm going to show you how I did this and it's very good and very economical. So in order to put it back, all I have to do I just hook it up in the in the hook that is inside. And then I push it in like this and it will get inside and it will not move anywhere. So now I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. I remember all the information is in the video description let's start with the video all right so this is uh, the kit that i was uh, talking about so you can get it on amazon if you want i can leave you the link or if you want me if you're outside of the united states you want me to send it to you just let me know i can do it for you so basically you're going to have this this is the feet you know that's going to hold the feet of the ladder this is the hook that goes in the hole of the top of the ladder. And this is uh, to regulate the, the height. This is the, the support for the elastic that I told you already. And it comes with a few other pieces, you know, to hold it in place. So if you want to see the other stuff, it, it comes with this. This is an example. And here you have another picture, another picture another picture so it depends on your configuration you can do it like that so now i'm going to show you step by step now i'm going to show you inside so the way you can see how everything looks like so the way if you want to build it yourself you can if you want me to do it for you just contact me all my information is in the video description so that way i'm going to show you how you can do a step by step all right so what you have to do is you have to buy this Unistrut here in US. They call it like that, Unistrut, so that way you can grab it from here and you're not going to have any issues. So basically, you have to put this hook that you see uh, here. That this is the hook that goes, you know, up and down the, the moves uh, from one place to another. And the way you grab this uh, Unistrut to the frame of the sprinter or your cargo van is with this insert so as you can see this special insert so you have you need a special tool and this is going to work as a nut so that way as you can see here so basically you put it here uh, like that so i'm going to show you so you have it here you put it like that and with a special tool it's going to stay in place so if in the future you want to remove that you can do it and you will be aesthetic and pleasing to the eye and you don't have to make any hole here or anything like that so it will work uh, great so i have all my tools as usual i am in us if you need anything if you want me to do it for you i can do it uh, you can contact me otherwise if you need the tool you need me to send it to you or anything like that just let me know so now i'm going to leave that over there i'm going to keep put it in place as soon as i finish the, the video so basically as you can see here this is the the hook that will move you know back and forth and you're going to put the ladder over here so basically you have to grab here on this end maybe in the middle and in the other end so that way this is going to be firm it's not for pull-ups of course but if for the ladder it will be uh, good enough if you, if you want to put more uh, support you can do it as well if you want to put another one here you can do it besides here 
at least in my case, with these, and I think I, I put it one in the middle and the other in the other end was more than enough. If you want to put one in, in each, uh, stud that you have here, uh, the, in the frame of the, the sprinter, you can do it as well. So here, as you can see, basically you're going to have the, the holes and the support, the bracket for the elastic. This is the elastic thing that will push the ladder. You know, when you unhook it from there, it's going to push it towards you. So that way it will make your life easier. And this is the feet uh, or the bracket where the ladder will be uh, um, supported, as you can see. And that is the other side. So that is the end where you're going to have the, the elastics. So basically, as you can see, I have it over here. I have the, the screw that we hold this. And then here I put another one that was enough. Here is the screw for this. So the way it, it will keep this in place, you know, like that. And uh, that's it. So that is when you hook it and hook it, you will do it from here and you will make your life easier instead of having the ladder, you know, laying around and taking so much space so now uh, i'm going to keep with the video so that way i can show you how i did it so that way you can do it yourself or if you want me to do it for you just let me know so uh, as you can see here i am in my cargo bin so now we are going to put another insert here so because this is six millimeters and it will not fit uh, over here as you can see so we're going to have to make it a little bit bigger So you're going to try little by little, so that way you have a, the right hole, the, the right uh, diameter. Almost there, just a little bit. Almost there. I could maybe use the, the hammer. There you go, perfect. So now I'm going to take it out. So as you can see here, we have the, the gun. We're going to screw it here. You have to choose the right diameter and then as you can see here, there we go. So it goes up and down. So as you can see, you have to untie it a little bit, just adjust it, uh, you know, by hand, tie it by hand. And then when this is squeezes it, it will get bigger and it will stay in place. So basically that is how it works. So I'm going to put it here. So that is the trick, that is what you have to do with each one of them, and that's it. So la later we put the screw and it will stay, it will keep it firm. We're going to install the rail, as you can see, we're going to grab the powerful tool, socket set and everything. So now we should try to put it, we're going to put it close. I think here we'll just do the trick. Now let's go again. Hopefully this time will be enough. So that was enough. So at least with the little one, I was able to put it like that. At least if you are just one guy, otherwise you can put that one. That is the first one. And then later you can start adding the other ones. So here we're going to bigger one and the biggest one. We're going to have to remove this. Otherwise it will not go flush or I can put it, keep going like that, uh, leave it like that, instead of trying to remove everything. That will be the other option. I shall see. Um, I think it will be okay. As you can see, I was uh, had to remove this one. As you can see, the, pla the um, light fixture is just here. And this one, I was able to remove 
the plastic and put it on the side and that was fine. I can leave it here. Otherwise, I will have to move it, you know, elsewhere. It doesn't matter to me that much at least at this, at this point. Uh, all right. So now I, I was able to run the washer as you, as you can see here. As you can see, I'm going to put the screw now. All right. Very firm. I could put more. I think it will be okay for now. We'll have to move it a little bit forward over there. I don't know if it's possible. Okay. Now we should be able to put the last screw over there. Let's see, washer first, the huge one. One is in place and then we put the other one. With this, we're going to do the trick. Perfect. So now I can put the rest of the things. This is our the lock locking mechanism. Uh, we have to put here first. There you go. I on. As you can see, and we're stuck. Eight feet is over there, so we have to move that forward. So we will have to take this out of the way to remove it. We have to remove that, otherwise, we're not going to reach the other end. So I have to take this apart, so as you can see here, and uh, so that way I can reach this and tie this up. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult. We have to reach the end of the road. Now we're going to put this kind of here. I think it should be it should be enough. All right. So now we're going to put one. Now we're going to put the other one. Now, we, as you can see, we are going to put this. Here you have the square thing, so it goes there, and the other things go in the other side. This is where this is going to bite the ladder or it's going to fit here. And um, I should do the trick in the other side. Oh, yes. I will have to type this up uh, later, but at least I know where it goes now. This goes, you see, the end goes here. The small player goes great. If you need uh, tools or anything like that, I am in US. I send you, I can send you anything via DHL, FedEx, or anything else. So basically, this is going to push it forward and, and push it backwards here. So uh, we'll have to do some testing also. If you put um, white uh, grease here, uh, lithium grease here, it will help you a lot. As you can see, I put the ladder already. So now I'm going to put this. Uh, this is going to be the stop for this. So that way when you're pushing it from the other end, you know that it's going to stop here. So I had to remove the big washer that you see here because this wasn't going anywhere. So it was getting stuck here. So also I had to sand it down here a little bit. Uh, so that way I have more space. But if that is not your case, no big deal. But make sure that you have enough clearance so that way this will move uh, freely. All right, as you can see, I just move it uh, upwards so that way 
this is going to be as tight to the ceiling as possible so that way you're going to have less movement the manufacturer says that you have to you know put the strap here i'm going to try it like that but if if i have it, if i'm start having issues that this falls or something like that maybe i can do that otherwise i will see if i can do something else uh, different so that way it will be less than, than the hassle every time that you have to remove this take it out uh, take it in and out all right so we're going to do the demo now now i'm going to show you this thing a part goes up and the thickest one goes down this is easier when the van is smaller but as you can see i was able to do it so now all you have to do just grab your, yourself from here okay you do that and and then you can lock it over here but like i said i prefer go as high as possible and that's it and when you want to take this out uh, same thing so push and then it will come out by itself <laughs> now i'm going to show you how to take it out so basically you do this and then because you have the hook over there it will come to you now i'm going to leave it inside hey stop there you go that's it for now Hopefully you have enjoyed this class. If you want something like that, tool, parts, or anything like that, let me know. I can send it to you if you're outside of the United States. Otherwise, I can try to leave you the link so that way you can buy it yourself. If you're outside of the United States, they sell this part by itself. And the Unistrot, you can buy it, you know, in your country because it's huge and heavy. But this does, is not that heavy. 